Hello friends, welcome to Global Online. Today we are discussing NTA UGC NET 2023 paper to economics. In this class, we discuss about Cope Douglas production function from microeconomics. And let's start with our first question. First question In Cope Douglas production function, the term that indicates change in output that result from additional unit of an input. So, an additional unit change in input that result a change in output is called marginal product. So, marginal product is the correct answer for this question and that gives an additional change in the output from an increase in the input. Okay. And next question. The function given Q equals 10K raised to 0 0.6 and L raised to 0 0.8. And here the return to scale in this production function in the following are increasing return to scale. From the production function Q equal to 10K raised to 0 0.6 and here the 0 0.6 is the value for capital and 0 0.8 is the value for labor. And from these two values, the parameters that alpha and beta is valued here. And we want to get the returns of scale from summing the two quantities, 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8. Then the answer is more than 1. It indicates that the function is above 1. Okay. Sorry, the returns to increasing returns to scale. And when the value is below 1, it indicates it's decreasing returns. Okay. And then it's constant means it's equal to 1. And it's negative means minus 1. Okay. And next question. Before we move into the next question, a quick look at what Global Online offering for you. We provide complete syllabus video lectures, notes, mock tests, plus last 10 years solo PYQs. And you can get from in our app, Global Online, in the Play Store. And later you enroll the course, you can get all the video lectures, notes, mock tests, PYQs related to the topic. Any queries or confusion related to the topic or the app, you can get from the contact number. You please contact with the WhatsApp number and get paper one complete course free with paper two. And the third question, which of the following is or are characteristics of Cobb Douglas production function? Here, some characteristics are given and what are the characteristics of Cobb Douglas? And here the linear function is given homogeneous production function of first degree or degree one and it takes account only two factors and all of the above. And the answer for this, all of the above. So Cobb Douglas production function is a linear function. A linear function means it's an horizontal function and then it's a function of first degree or it's equal to one. And then it uses only two factors, mainly two factors. One is capital that is for K and the other is for labor that is for L. Okay. And all of the above is the answer. Then law of variable proportion, the point of inflection. Here the point of inflection happens in the law of variable proportion in which phase and the given four phases with respect to total product that is TP and we can know what is a variable? Variable is a quantity that can be changed in a production function or during a production process. So the variable can dynamic. In the variable proportion, the point of inflection is at decreasing at increasing rate or decreasing at diminishing rate or increasing at increasing rate or increasing at diminishing rate. And the answer is total product starts increase at diminishing rate. So whenever the total product starts increase at diminishing rate, not at a rapid rate, in a diminishing rate, the point of inflection will occur. 
and let's see the graphical representation here the point of inflection is happen in the first stage first the total product increases at a rapid phase you can see the and then after point a you can see a diminishing rate the total product increasing but at a diminishing rate and then it attains a peak point that is b and after that the total product decreases so these are the three phases or three stages when the total product increases and at an increasing rate and then increasing at a diminishing rate then decreases okay and the point of inflation occur at the first stage then which of the following production function will exhibit hicks and harrow technical progress so here hicks and harrow technical progress both will exhibit in one function and what is the function leon diff cobb douglas acms or none of this and the answer is cobb douglas production function here the cobb douglas production function exhibit both hicks and harrow technical progress okay and the next question the concept of x efficiency was formulated by h singer h libenstein r roden c kindelberger and the answer that's for you this is a homework question and the answer you can type in the comment box and any questions or queries related to this also ask in the comment box we wind up this session thank you have a nice day